Pisces, how are you doing? Uh, I definitely keep hearing for you, I don't want to upset and rock the boat. You could be dealing with a life path six or a Capricorn or a Gemini. Uh, I feel very upset and emotional at this time for a lot of you. You could be dealing with a five, uh, life path five, Sagittarius, Taurus person. Um, and I don't want to tip the scales also. So you, unless you're doing anything around your weight and there's weight issues and you're kind of like on a diet like myself and uh, you don't want to tip the balance of the scales, you really could be dealing with like a Libra. Um, or a number two, but like I don't want to uh, tip the, I don't want to tip the scale, so I go overboard. Okay, so I don't want to go overboard on what I'm eating, uh, unless you are actually travelling and the sea uh, is very rocky. So the person that you're seeing could live uh, across the ocean, for a lot of you, and it's very rocky waters, is what they're saying. So Roger Waters, uh, or Kelly Waters, Kelly Keeley, uh, the names, um, but like. Uh, I definitely hear like I don't want to rock the boat, rock the cash bar, uh, Ka Ka Carissa, uh, Casey, uh, but rock the cash bar, cash, Cass, Cassie, um, I don't want to rock the, I don't want to rock the boat and tip the scales is what they keep saying, like I want things to be fair, I want things to be equal, okay, so you really could be dealing like a Gemini or a Capricorn, and I want things to be equal, and I want things to be fair, and I want things to be balanced, and I want to balance things out, Okay, uh, I don't know why I keep picking up like a tightrope walker for some reason, or the name Walker. Okay, but like a tightrope, tightrope. Uh, so you really could be dealing with a hangman, like another Pisces. So yourselves and another Pisces. Okay, and I don't want to give you enough rope that the fact that you would do something like that. What is that? Is there some kind of like... I don't know. I want to move away from that energy. I'm not sure what that is. Like, like walking a thin line. So you can be dealing with like a life path seven, Cancerian. Don't worry, these are not messages. This means just trying to figure out what they're saying. Um, so something about like tightrope. Like unless it's a skipping rope or skipping something, I don't want to skip a step. Like it's like I'm trying to learn to walk. Is this to do with around a baby? Around a baby learning to walk or a grandchild or something like that. And like learning to walk again. Okay, like I'm just learning how to skip or walk or something like that so unless there was an operation that someone had and they're very unsteady on their feet and you're just learning to walk again okay unless it is that you're on a diet and stuff like that and you're just starting to walk okay go for a walk but i keep hearing walker like something to do with a grandchild or a baby in a, like a zimmer frame like an old uh, an elderly person like a, a grandmother or a mother or a, a walker like so walk walk her so it's kind of like um i don't know trying to like coach someone to walk again right and it might be like a baby like lulu lulu come to harry like louise lucy laura but like like a zimmer frame or a walking stick or a child that sits in one of those walkers and they kind of like crawl over towards you but walk so they keep saying like learning to walk again learning to learning someone how to walk that's what they keep saying teaching someone how to walk like is it a walking stick or a rhythm stick learning rhythm some of you might be like like i do for angel radio and you're doing like mixing and mastering and learning rhythm okay and we're trying to do things in time okay so something is warming up towards you and it's going to be happening in time like let's just give it a bit of time okay so it might be around your relationship but i definitely keep picking up like in sync, out of sync, like in time, out of time, trying to get things on time, okay? So it might be, like I said, I mean, I do that all the time when I'm making music. I have to try and get everything on time so it fits the beat. So it might be where you're doing things like that. I'm also hearing beat, which would be something around the police force, okay, on beat. And we're, like, patrolling, patrolling, okay? So, like, citizens on patrol, like citizens watch, okay? Or, like, watching people walking by, or someone just keeps walking by your house all the time, okay? Or housey, but like keeps walking by my house. By my house, okay, so some of you might be selling a house, here we go. So I don't know what those were for around walking and stuff like that, walking sticks, grandparents and things. Okay, so there might be, because uh, it might be like losing weight, skipping ropes and all of this kind of thing, right? But there's an energy here because it's like getting back on the ropes, okay? So I don't know why I'm picking up a title fight as well for someone. Like I've got my back against the ropes and I'm trying to like 
it feels like some of you might be like boxing or doing some kind of fitness or a physical boxing arena or something like that. Okay, or Maureen. But I'm also hearing house because I might be selling my house. Okay, so for some of you, it could be uh, around where your backup is against the wall because you know that you have to um, build a wall or knock one down or it's something around a house. Okay, a physical house. And we might be selling and doing up it's either doing up a house or selling it. It's kind of like that, and my back is up against the wall because there are certain things that I need to doing on the wall, like I need to knock a wall down or build one. <laughs> okay, so you really can be doing like a seven, life path seven. Um, yeah, so uh, so what was we doing? What was what was I saying then? Sorry, what was Spirit saying? Around this house, something around like, uh, where did it lead to? Man, I'm really finding it difficult in order to come up with what this what they're saying. So, so it might be just like renovations, house, home, and my back is up against the wall because now it's crunch time, and I realise I'm either one gonna have to let it go or two keep it. Okay, so you might be selling things like selling a house, selling something, and thinking, you know what, do I keep this or do I sell it? it could be like a car, for instance, or anything. For a lot of you, like you've got a car and you don't know whether to keep it or sell it. My car is actually fixed now, so I'm so pleased with my car. Um, but like Michael, the name Michael, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. Uh, and you might be like selling a car, buying a car. You've come up against crunch time and it's like, I either invest into this or I don't. Is it like I invest into a business? Okay, or I invest into invent being investigated. Like I might, someone might be investigating something. Like so, it might be court-related stuff that some of you have got. Or will I get caught if I was to go outside of this circle of this arena? Or uh, arena. So Rini, Rani, Rini, would I get caught if I was to go outside of the group? Would I get caught if I was to go outside? So some of you, I don't know why someone might want to go outside, but they're worried about being caught if they go outside. So is it someone like a neighbour or something like that that makes someone feel very uncomfortable and like, if I go outside, I'm going to get caught? Doing something outside. Oh, I don't know, man. Some of your messages, they're really not making any sense at all. So around a Libra, around a Libra, like if I was to do something, would I get caught? Would I get found out if I was to do something? I don't know. I've got no idea what they're saying there, so we're just going to leave it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pisces. Sorry, guys. So normally I can channel for people straight off, but they're not making any fucking sense to me whatsoever. You got me dealing with a Libra. That's normally when I say the sense that makes none. So, like, it doesn't make any sense, any money. So is it where, like, you might want to sell something, but you know you're not going to get any money for it if you sell it? Okay, and I might want to sell a collection of things, but if I do, I'm really not going to make any profit. Okay, or like if I've got a car and I want to sell my car, or the name Sal or Sarah or Steve, but like, you know, if or Sassy, but if I sell this, am I going to make any money? If I sell any product, am I going to sell it? You know, am I going to make any money? Do I sell a house or am I going to keep the house? Am I going to make any money? How much money am I going to get? Okay, what am I going to get in return? So it might be tax return. I just realised, man, because I'm, I'm looking at my tax. You could be dealing with like puff seven, cancerian, cancer, um, other the physical sign of cancer, they're saying. Um, or a car. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Very sporadic messages there, Pisces. Um... It could be a house or a home or a business, like someone might want to sell a business and like they realise that the business isn't worth as much as what they hoped or they want to sell a house but they realise they're really not going to get as much money as what they first thought. And like it could be a, like a discussion of wages, for instance, right? But like it, they keep saying it's around buying and selling. Like do I keep the company or do I sell it to someone? Do I keep the house or do I sell it? Do I have the car or do I sell the car? Like, do I fix the car or do I sell it? Do I buy a new one? Do I invest into something that is better? Okay. Uh, is it around a person? Okay. But they're saying, like, do I keep where I am or do I, like, invest in something more? 
Okay, do I take the money that I've got and invest into something better? Okay, so it could really be like business related things for a lot of you. Okay. And you might have like opportunities of work. Okay, and you don't know which job to take. Okay, or the name Rob or Robin or Robert. But it's either like giving up or continuing on kind of energy, right? So let's see. Don't give up. Uh, let's see. Pisces. Pisces, what they got coming up for their Divine Feminine. So we're doing a mirror reading, Pisces, uh, for the Divine Feminine of Pisces. What they got coming up, please, this week. Uh, so this can be you guys are Pisces coming straight out with the three, Pisces. <laughs> well, you are a three. Okay, you are a three. So you will always see a lot of threes around a Piscean energy. But what we're doing is we're kind of looking at whether you're together or you're apart, or two lives that are separate that compare to you being together, but you're going through different things apart. Okay. So I'm hearing together or apart or a bone apart, like bone marrow. They keep saying bone marrow. Okay, so I don't know if there is something that is inside of someone and it's to do with their bones. Okay, like a grave site of bones and someone, what? Moved someone's bones? 11.11 11 on the clock. So what's that then? Like a grave digger? Okay, or a gold digger? Or like a, um, like moved someone's bones? Like a, like resurrection of some kind of like deceased loved one or whatnot we might need to move your body because <laughs> that might be like move like physically like i need to get out of here and get moving okay but i don't know why i keep hearing move the body i need to move my body or is it inside of my body because there could be a sign of like because i don't know why I could, just lately i've been picking up a lot of energy of like women going for like or men really but going for like tests of cancer and stuff and I keep picking up like it could be like lymph node or like in the bones. OK, uh, if that's a drug addiction and it's things like methadone or whatnot, that seeps into your bones. So I don't know whether you're eating a lot of like chicken or like bones or like burying bones. I mean, you could even be burying someone. I don't know. But like, hold on. They're saying phones. Hold on. Is it bones or phones? Both. <laughs> Both. Two messages for two different people. Something to do with phones for you, like you might be buying two phones or someone has two phones, like they have one phone and another phone as well. One might be for a love relationship, one might be for business, but they keep saying, I have two phones. Okay, two phones. Phones for you. So is it changing your internet provider <laughs> and things like you're looking at all of the things that you're spending and the money? OK, and you're like, I've got an Internet provider and I've got this provider and I'm a provider of here and the provider of none. Right. So like I'm providing two phones or two companies. I have two companies or I'm keeping two like company of two people. Some of you. So you might be in a third party. Definitely for a lot of you like keeping a keeping. Someone here possibly has two people, but they have two phones, <laughs> two phones. Oh, okay, I'm also hearing sonogram, a sonogram, right? So that is like a scan, right? Or a scam, like someone's being scammed, or like a scan, like a sonogram, okay, of around pregnancy or any kind of situation that may be involving someone being ill around the, like, cancer kind of energy, right? I hate bringing that up, but it really does keep coming into my head, okay? So I'm picking up, like, a sonogram or, like, a something where someone has to go for a scan to do with like a head scan or a body scan, okay? And I have to like go inside of one of those tubes and I go in and then they kind of like, it goes around and then it comes back out, okay? So that would be either like a sonogram of pregnancy or a sonogram of like, uh... sorry, I just don't 100% know what a sonogram is. As far as I know, a sonogram is to do with around looking into the body of a possible baby. OK, but if it isn't, I'm picking up where I need to go for a like an ECG or something like that. OK, so you could be dealing with anybody that's E, E, Emily, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael Jackson, Julie, Jess, Jess, Nicky, uh, E, uh, C, anybody beginning with C, OK, or G, Garth, Gareth, um, Gavin, OK, Gavin, James, Jamie, uh, Gav, Stacy, Steve, Sarah could be involved. Um E C E C E C E C Steve. 
I see Steve. I'm seeing Steve. Someone's seeing me. You all right? <laughs> seeing. The first time I ever saw your face. Uh, let's see. Pisces. ECG. Sonogram. Retina scan. Or a scam. Someone's trying to scam someone. Okay. Let's see. Um... Pisces for the divine feminine. So you got Leo or Aquarius, okay, waiting on news to see if it's kind of like the test of time, okay. Only time will tell, is what I'm hearing. Like it might be around a show and tell, around a Libra, and only time will tell how strong this relationship is. Is it going to last the test of time? Is it? Is it like? Is it or is it not? Is what I'm hearing. Um, but is it going to last? Do I have enough energy to make it last? But it's kind of like a very strong connection that you've got here, okay? But it's also the test of time. So it might be like an ex, right? It could be an ex involved. And it's like they are projecting an energy of, do I continue or do I give up? Okay, do I give up on waiting for this person? Or do I continue on forward with a partner that I may or may not be with? Because it, like I said, it could be an ex, and there could be an energy of someone that is just in the background that is not communicating, but they're like, do I continue on the way I am or do I give up? Okay. Because strength is perseverance. Okay. So it's strong enough. Like this test of time is strong enough. Okay. I'm also hearing something that is very potent, meaning that there might be someone that could be smoking like copious amounts of ganja or something, right? And it's very strong. Okay. Very strong. Okay, so do I have the strength and do I have the will to survive? So the name William, Bill, okay, Billy, but do I have the will? So is it something around someone trying to find out about money here, about money? And do I have the money that was given to me by a will? Okay, like someone could have died, okay, and then somebody wants like a gravestone or, because that would be, an energy of someone that was like moving bones. It might not be the bones. It might just be the grave site. So it could be someone that is visiting a grave site, but they're waiting for a tombstone to be engraved. Okay, engraved is what I'm hearing. Graves and graves. So someone work in a mortuary here or something around bodies. Okay, about bodies. When the bodies hit the floor. Bodies. A body of evidence. We need evidence to prove it. Very strange message. Uh, let's see. Because that's trying to coach someone here to have the strength and will to survive. Like testing the time. Like finding the time and like giving it a little longer and stuff like that. And can I do this any longer? Can I keep this up any longer? Okay. Okay. Pisces, the Divine Feminine, please. The Divine Feminine that is connected to Pisces. So you've got Libra. There's the two energy. So for some of you, this is a very strong connection that you're in, okay? Uh, but it does start off with the three, but that is normally you, kind of waiting to get word about anything that is also financial, or like Nancy, or Drew, or Andrew, okay, or Andrea, okay, or Mansfield, okay? But uh, I definitely hear it on manifest scares. <laughs> I don't think we've come up with that one before. Um, but something around like having to go to courts, hospitals, doctors. Okay, and is this fair? Or is there an affair? Like it might be where someone's... Because justice is about trust. Okay, and so is strength. About loyalty, or the name Laura, or Lucy, or Lulu. And loyal and trustworthy. Because it could be a bank. It could be trusting. Okay, uh, Justin... And I need to trust you, okay, do, like I do trust you, but it could be a trust fund, okay. So it could be a fundraiser, it could be raising hell around a Capricorn, but it could be a, a fundraiser and a fundraising event of like cancer research, is what I keep hearing, like cancer research or fundraising for something that may be like medical and I need to raise funds for something, okay, raise funds, so you might be doing like a, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's those where you can raise funds for people and you put it in a, I used to have one actually when it came to my computer. 
uh, but like raising funds for somebody okay might be my birthday <laughs> but like uh raising funds okay and it's a fundraising event where i might be able to earn a bit more money okay for something so the funds that i get are the funds that are going to go towards the company so this would also be like because i'm hearing good company or bad company but it still could relate to anything that's going on in your life but i definitely can hear like a fundraising event and then the money that i get okay will go into the business okay so what i earn goes back into the business Okay, so it means that anything that you do around your job or this person's job, what they earn goes back into investing into the actual business itself. Okay, so it's an investing into a relationship, but there's someone here that may be investigating someone, like online, and I'm investigating you. Being investigated. Because that would be like police uh, and stuff like that, okay, being investigated. But it would also be trying to find out any kind of news that is around like hospitals and stuff as well on a on a general level. General public. I also keep hearing general. So general, Jen, Jennifer, Jen. The rule of thumb. Under the thumb. Someone could be under the thumb. Okay, that's normally like what you know i'm the one that leads everything and you're under the thumb meaning like you know <laughs> come here okay you're under the thumb it's like no can i go out it's like no i'm not going out because of you know it's like yo you're under the thumb bro haven't you <laughs> right under the thumb or under the breast what is that it's under something under and over something to do with around um australia but like it's under something like under the ground under the skin we came up, I come up with this for ages ago where I said it's surface level, okay, but it's under the skin as well. So it's kind of like something that's showing itself on the skin, but it's under the skin. It's kind of like acne, a flare up, or something that is on the skin, but it's not actually just on the skin, it's actually under it as well, okay, is what I keep picking up. Like it's a, like a, like it could be like a cyst or something, or like someone that's going for a scan of something that they've got on their skin. And they're going to have like a skin graft to have it tested to find out if it's malignant, if it's like, you know, whatever it is. Because they keep saying like, this is either a body, okay, which means it is also a human being. But it means like it's either under the skin or over the skin or it is racism. Again, somebody in the racist remarks there came up around Sagittarian Taurus a while ago to do with the colour of someone's skin. Okay, and that really bothers somebody here for God knows why. Okay. Trust me, if you're around this channel, you are all cut from the same cloth, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, or you're a cat, or you're a dog. You all get treated equally here. So um, there is something around human rights, like it's not human, it's like alien. <laughs> it's not human. What is that? Something crawling around someone's body that isn't human? <laughs> so is it like a DNA test? Like I've got to have... A blood test and a DNA test to find out what this is, whether it be serious or not very serious. Okay, is really what they keep saying to me. Like it's not alien, obviously, but it's like unidentified. There you go. So it could be identity. So it could be someone's trying to find out someone's identity, or it could be the identity of something, right? Something, or someone's trying to find out my identity. I don't know, <laughs> but like I keep hearing. Like, I need to identify what this is because we haven't found out what this is yet. Okay, so it might be something where you have to go to hospital because it hasn't been identified of a diagnosis. So it can even be like around a car and you need an MOT, okay, and you don't know the answer of whether it's going to pass or fail. Okay, mine's coming up in March, 16th actually. Um, that's also my birthday, which is March the 8th. <laughs> um, but like... Like uh, like a diagnostic machine, and we haven't found out the diagnosis of what this thing is, whether it be human or, do you know what I'm saying? And we don't know what the answer is because we don't know what it is yet because we haven't had a diagnosis of what the thing is. Okay. When I say thing, you also say Steve. Stephen King. <laughs> <coughs> so it could even be a mole. Like someone has a mole, okay, and they don't know whether it be malignant or just a mole, or whether it be like a lump or whether it be a serious lump, okay. 
uh, or a bump, which means that it could be pregnant, which means that I might start having like something that's going on in my stomach, okay, and I'm getting a lump in my stomach and I've got to go for a scan to find out whether I'm pregnant or whether it's anything else, okay. But something could be really going on with someone's body here, okay. Let's find out. Um, so one more card for the Divine Feminine connected to Pisces, please. The Divine Feminine of Pisces. Uh, so opportunity uh, arises is also what I'm hearing. The event arising. You're not going to need eyes where you're going. Aquarius. Uh, so this could be an Aquarian here. Um, and it might be something to do with eyes. Like you might need an eye test. I've actually still got to go for mine because my eyesight is terrible. But like an eyesight or a retina test of the eye. Okay, so it might mean cataracts or something like that, or my racks. A rack in the UK is someone that has a nice pair of coconuts. <laughs> so I'm just hearing, sorry, ladies, but like I'm hearing like I might need to go and have my rack chest, chest <laughs> chested, my rack chested. So either a chest x-ray and it's to do with this or it's internal of my chest. Okay, so it's either on my chest or in my chest. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it could be like lungs. Like, I need to go and have my lungs tested or something like that. Okay, lung. I hope it's not lung cancer, but like lungs. Iron lung. My iron lung. Tom? York? Or someone from Yorkshire? Okay, York. Yorkie? York. Someone from up north? York. So Tom York, my iron lung. Iron, iron side, irons, lions, Leos, Lucy, Laura, Louise, Lucifer. But like, it's kind of like I want something taken off. Okay, is it where someone might have to have a breast taken off here? Okay, but I want something taken off of my body. Okay, me for instance, right? I've noticed this. On the back of my head, right, underneath my hair, I've had it since I was born, uh, and it is a skin tag, okay, and it's quite a large one, and it, it doesn't never give me any bother, okay, but uh, it does when I have my hair cut, which I don't have very often, <laughs> okay, and believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, I never use a comb for my, I don't, I, I always finger hair, <laughs> but like, I, I don't like put combs through my hair, because I can also catch it, and it's also extremely painful when I do catch it. But it's something like that, like a skin tag, a mole, or something that may annoy me about my body that I want looking at. Like it might be a tattoo, for instance, and I want something covering up, right? It might be a scar or something that I have that annoys me that I want looking at, okay? So it could be a scar, it could be leaving a scar, okay? So it might mean like if I have an operation, it's going to leave a scar, okay? So something like that, and I might want it having looking at and seeing if I can cover the scar up or something, right? I did come up in another reading where I channeled Scarface, okay, uh, and someone did actually tell me, actually, uh, so please give my person that my, um, you know, please say, you know, the nice stuff, <laughs> sorry, I'm such a guy, but like to the, the person that uh, got in an accident, and uh, they've got phys physical signs of a lot of scarring, so I'm so sorry that happened to that person, but something like that, okay, that whatever it is that's happened, it's left a load of uh, scars and scar tissue, and that kind of stuff, and I might need to have it looked at, okay, or it might end up being a scar, and what would I do living with a scar, don't worry about, you know, don't worry about if that's women that are going for, like, operations and stuff, and it's going to leave a scar, don't worry about that kind of stuff, okay, me, for instance, I suffer that as a guy, because I've uh, yo-yo dieted for a very long time, okay, so, like, when I start losing weight, my skin starts kind of like, you know, I start having, like, excess skin and, like, man tits and stuff and all sorts. But at my age, I, there's there's no way that I'm going to be out thought out this at this age because my skin just does not. Uh, it's not as, as elastic as it used to be when, uh, or alas, someone from up north, but, or Alaska, okay. But, uh, yeah, skin just isn't what it used to be when you're younger, right? And when you get older, it's just like, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my skin isn't used to what it used to be okay it's about someone's skin here about someone's color of their skin man i hate this why i don't get this right why is there like racism 
I, I don't get it. I really don't. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't compute with me. It really doesn't. Like, but some people are, you know. But there is something around the colour of someone's skin that bothers other people. Okay, that bothers other people about the colour of their skin. Fucking joker. Bruv. <laughs> Clowns to the left of me, jokers on the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. A Jewish person, someone that's Jewish. Let's see. Or is it someone's religion, r race or religion? Like I'm bothered by your religion or I'm bothered by the race of you, okay? Or like uh, spiritual stuff, like I don't like the fact that you're spiritual or I do, you know, something like that. I mean, me, for instance, you know, I come across when it comes to, like, religion because I'm not religious. I wasn't born as Catholic or anything. I, You know, I wasn't. It's the Church of England for me, which means there's a church up the town there, but no one goes to it, you know, I'm from Britain. So, I, you know, I don't, I'm not religious. I don't have any problems with people that say that they're religious. It's just the fact that I am. Right? I don't believe in a book. I just don't. Uh, I believe in myself and, and within a spirit, you know, 100%. But spirit is more prominent to me than what God of, in a book is, okay? Because, I, I, you know, a book is wrote by a man and by a woman, basically by the Romans, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, just basically books of stuff that was to do with like, well, it was written by the Romans, which is a man, but who knows what they did when they come up with that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so anyway... Um, Show me the divine masculine that is that is. I nearly said stuck with the divine feminine. <laughs> show me, show me the divine masculine that is connected to the divine feminine of Pisces, please. Show me the divine masculine of Pisces connected to Pisces. So there you go. So you got three and three. You you both could have a, an energy of Pisces. This would also be your mother, your grandmother, your grandma. Okay. So when I do divine feminine and masculine, right? Tarot card readings show you life aspects. They do all the time. You can never relate a reading as this is your love life and that's it. That's why it doesn't relate to a lot of people because it's your life, okay? So I'm a life reader, okay? So you interpret it the way you do, but majority of you here, you have both placements of Pisces for a lot of you or like life path three energies. Both of you could have a moon sign Pisces as a sun sign Pisces or a rising in Pisces, and a sun sign of Pisces, okay? But more than likely, you both have that. And it could very be prominent between the life path threes, okay? Um, very easy to please, okay? So I'm here for you. Whenever you need me, I am here, okay? So you should well be with your partner here. Unless you're in the third party, well, then you need to get over it. Let's see. Um, show me... The Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine that is connected to Pisces. Please, the Divine Masculine that is connected to Pisces. Okay. Uh, <sighs> Someone's fighting with their mother or their grandmother, a Sagittarian or a Taurus, or self-sabotaged energy. Like... It could be around your weight. I self-sabotage my weight all the time. I do really well for a week or two, and then all of a sudden I'm self-sabotaging and eating through feelings and emotions, okay? So that's something I really have to look at, okay, myself. But there's an energy here that really could be causing you a lot of internal problems, okay? Or someone else that causes the relationship a lot of problems, okay? Could be people that are trying to stand in your way. But for the majority of you, this side compared to this side, if you're together, it's just they have a right problem with their mother, okay? So it could be a placement of Taurus or Sagittarius that doesn't fit with the other person. It's against them. They're always at odds, all the time. Odds and evens. This is definitely Stephen, okay? So there's a mismatched energy of someone that does go through a lot of conflict, okay, at home, more than likely. It could be someone that's fighting with an ex, okay? Um... 
Let's see, Pisces is masculine. Show me the masculine that is connected to Pisces. The masculine connected to Pisces. Five, it came out for another reading. You got the devil on this side here. So you got six, can either be a Capricorn or and Gemini. Okay, or Law, Laura, Lucy, Louise, Louisiana, Polly, Polly, Anne, polyamorous. Someone could really be married already and they never got divorced or they go outside of a marriage. Um, there is a lot of things compared to you, Chris Cornell, Chris, Christine, Chrissy. There is someone here that's always very aggressive and always skin. This person here, if you're a Capricorn Pisces and you've got a lot of money or you have got money, then it isn't really to do with money. This is someone else that's in someone's life here. And there's energy of never having any money. I've never got any money. Okay. I'm always lacking in money. Okay. So someone's fighting with family members over money. Okay. Now, for some of you, if you're relating to this side, there is something that is going on in your family energy that could be relating to the energy of what I was saying about doctors and hospitals. Because this could be either ill will and to do with will and money or ill will and perseverance of strength of my person money that it doesn't have much. OK, but it might also be an elderly grandparent. OK, grandparent. OK. It's the leading energy, but someone could really be like, that's the crutches that I said. Zimmer frame, crutches, can't walk very far, could have one leg, really? Oh, no, there's two. I don't know why I'm hearing that someone may have one leg. Okay, but, um, or Peg, Peggy, the name Peggy, Kilby, uh, Peg Leg. I don't know what that's for. Someone that has has a wooden leg, and they call them Peg. Or peg leg. Like someone that has like a like a wooden prosthetic leg. Okay. That's really what I keep hearing. Um, but there is something around this. You know when I was saying right at the beginning of the channel messages around a Zimmer frame or a crutch and learning to walk again. Well that's there. That is actually in that in pigment. And I don't normally read it read through what I see. But some of the times I do. Um, but it's causing someone a lot of pain. Like, I mean, that's me, for instance. You know, I do. I have a fucking hell of a lot of pain because I need a new hip later on in life. When I walk, I can walk for like five minutes, probably about three or four or five minutes. After that, I start getting excruciating pain. Okay, my leg goes numb. I feel cold down my leg because I have a trapped nerve. Okay, and it's basically created by my hip. So when I walk, I'm fucked when it comes to trying to lose weight because as soon as I walk for like three or four minutes, my leg starts giving away and I, don't, I lose all the strength in my leg. Okay, so it cuts off my blood supply around my leg because of my hip and my back. So like, it's like a sciatica, um, so on and so forth. But in Britain, if you go to like a chiropractor or whatever they are, or an osteopath or whatever they're called, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody could be a sociopath or a, a, a fuck, I don't know, a raven lunatic. But... um. Yeah, uh, that's 50 quid for 20 minutes. So you go, it's 50 pounds for 20 minutes. You crack your back, they sort it out. It's okay for a couple of, like a, an hour or two, and then it just comes straight back. And then you have to go back, spend another 50 quid, crack your back, sort you out. Oh, that felt really good. Walk out the shop, bang, there it is again. So what does that tell me? It is not. It is a hip replacement that I'm probably going to need. <laughs> so I don't know. It could be around like joints, aching jaws, joints. Jaws snapper, snapping at the heels. You snap, someone snaps at someone quite a lot. <coughs> like very, yeah, this is fucking my story all day long. <laughs> Here snaps at someone a lot because of the misplacement of uh, astrology there. It's a very toxic situation at home. It could really be, like I said, drugs, alcohol, drinking, food, obsessive about food, no food, some food, loads of food, no food. It could be a food addiction. Uh, could be, like I said, it could be like not wanting to have it, but wanting it kind of energy. Like a very, like for me, I have an eating disorder. I have an eating disorder. Two weeks would probably go by and I'm fine. And then all of a sudden I'm gorging on loads of food. Okay. So I've got to be very careful. But there's an eating disorder here of such. Okay. Um, 
Now, like I said, if you guys are in, uh, you're together in a relationship, do not relate this to, this is going to be my relationship. <laughs> if you're fucking really struggling and arguing in your relationship, then you're struggling and you're arguing in your relationship. But just be aware that when I'm doing a mirror reading, that's what each individual person is going on in their life as it compares to you as a mirror, meaning like undisclosed energy of what you may or may not know that goes on in the background is what your person is truly like. Meaning this goes on in their family, in their history of family. Okay, It's in a history of self-sabotage, which can means that it can be like... Uh, food addictions it can be past life trauma of friends and family loads of family getting in like loads of addictive qualities of self-sabotaging things that come up okay i don't want to look at it but i've got to deal with it whether i like it or not you see when you look when you look at the energy of past present future and dealing with certain energies of repetition okay repetition is something that we do daily because you sleep and then when you get up you're all sleeping and then when you get up you go and make a coffee which is what I do so that's repetition that's daily so that's not living in the present that's living in the past because I do it every day and then you go and have a shower and a wash women put makeup on and do all their thing it's repetition you do it every day so you're living out the past okay so everything that you do you go to work you're living out the past because you do it each and every day so work when I work every single day it's repetition so it can mean that I relate my feelings to what it is that I feel when I get up. I'm like, oh God, I've got to go to work. I've got to continue on with life. What the fuck is going on around my addiction and my food? Okay, repetition is because I'm living out of the past. It's because I've done it forever. The brain starts to form neuron scepters that make you live out of the past because you do it repetitiously every single day. Okay, so it's about being in tune with oneself. It's realizing, okay... I start to feel slightly depressed and anxious and tired. Why is that? Because it's food consumption, okay? But it can also be alcohol, smoking. Because I'm repetitiously smoking every day. I tell myself each and every day that I'm going to stop doing it eventually. But you're telling yourself to stop doing it. And then how do you feel? Repetitious. I've been down this road before. It's always happened to me. I try to give up. I get past a couple of days and then suddenly I'm feeling the same way again. Repetitions because you're doing it every day. So normally when we deal with trauma, trauma is something that is created out of a daily experience. Okay, Like I said, it can be so simple to some but not to others, which could be getting up on time to go to work. It could be wanting to go to work. It could be loving your work or you hate it, Okay, but you do it because you know you need money, but you hate your job. You hate the people around it. So repetition, you're not changing anything. Okay, So life doesn't change because you live out the past. Okay, so you're not prepared to go forward yet. Okay, so it would also be like food. I have to eat every single day, but when I do, it makes me really hungry because I eat in the morning. Or do I fast? Okay, but I always break my breakfast when I have a coffee because I have sweetener. Okay, so I'm breaking my fast the moment I get up, which is 4 a.m. because I want to get working. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like that energy of where it is that. You will constantly live out of a, net, a projection of past on this side here because of the things that are always happening. There's always an obstacle in my way because it's daily. It's someone that I visit daily. It's a grandparent and parent. It's seeing how you get on. But it's also an energy of stagnant. It's support and help. But then it also reminds me of how my life is also stuck because I can't live with you or without you. But then I can't do anything with my life because I can't do anything with you or without you. Because it's a part of someone's life. Okay, So it can be parents, grandparents, children, repetition. I do it daily. It reminds me of how exhausted I get by doing it for other people. So it's learning what? Equality. To receive. What will I get out of this in the end? But I'm upset. I'm emotional. It's draining. It's tired. I hope someone recognises me. But why don't they recognise me? For doing too much, <laughs> for doing it constantly too much, but I love you, I want to. Sure, that's why it's a self-sabotaged energy, because I want to do it, I am doing it. But then why these? Why these energies? Because it can, it can help, uh, unhelp me by helping, because I'm not learning to help myself. Selfish. So I sacrifice as a lamb, okay, Pisces, the sacrificial lamb of sacrifice, okay? 
I sacrifice myself for the good of humanity. Okay, humane, inhumane energy. I sacrifice myself for the goodness of everybody else. But then when it comes to putting my own energy consumption into it, I'm absolutely shattered and knackered because I put you in front of me. When, it, when will it be my time that I can think about me? So at the time I have to go to work, it's causing me a lot of stress, it's causing me a lot of pain, a lot of anxious energy. I might be exhausted, I might be tired, and at the end of the day, I'm absolutely pooped. <laughs> okay, same aspect. I'm constantly thinking about my ex that ripped me off, that destroyed me, that won't accept me into my life. I'm trying to find self-exception, accept myself, accept that it's over, accept that I have to let go. Okay, repetition. Each day, the person's feelings are creating mine. They're not. You create your own feelings. You're the master of none. Okay, so everybody else creates my feelings. No, because you're living out the past. Because you're trying to rectify to fix things that can't be fixed. It's broken already. It's fucked. Okay. So if you can't fix it, you need something new. You need a new approach. You need a new change. Okay. Do something out of the ordinary that you don't always do. It's kind of like getting up and thinking, fuck it. I'm not going to do a tarot card reading. I'm going to sit here and flaunt my tits everywhere. Like, right? But, you know, do something very bizarre that you wouldn't normally do outside of the box of repetition. Okay. Have a day off, right, or something like that, but give some time to yourself, okay? But repetitious energy is I'm stuck in a hell loop doing the same thing over and over again each day, waiting for the inevitable end of life, which is nurses, hospitals, NHS, the end of life. But am I going to be doing this for the rest of my life, doing this? Am I prepared to soon put myself first to realise that repetition is something that I'm doing for everybody else, but I'm sacrificing my life for the other person that I love, but then when it comes to self-love and self-acceptance, I may not be finding it. If it's to do with exes, <coughs> it's repetitious thought and feeling. It's five. I'm constantly living out of doing the same boring old shit that I'm fed up with because I can't control other people in my life. And when I do, it comes back around to make me feel even worse because no one wants to be around me at all. So I find myself alone all of the time. Why is that? Repetition. Okay. If that's to do with drugs, alcohol, drinking, food, why is that? Because it's repetitious. It's stuff that I need to keep me going, but it isn't. It's either giving you too much energy or not enough because <laughs> it depends what it is that you are eating or drinking or smoking. It's repetition. Okay. So, <laughs> there, Steve. Listen to yourself, bruv. <laughs> okay. So that's what we've got for you so far, Pisces. There's a little bit of a digging deep there into someone's soul. But we just need to rip it out, spit on it, polish it, and shove it back in someone. Hopefully they have a new lease of life. Okay. Uh, so you could really be just waiting on some news that is around someone's health at the moment. Okay, so there you go. So that's what we've got. If you want to continue on with this reading and help me and support me uh, to live and do all of these for free for everybody, then please consider joining Patreon. This one, though, will only be on the full access bundle. When we are finished, Pisces, we'll be doing your monthlies for March, which is going to be coming up to my birthday. Yay! March 8th, Pisces. Any of you got a birthday around March 8th? Uh, please leave it in the comment section when your birthday is, Pisces. Uh, so yeah, mine's March 8th. Uh, so anyway, we're going to clarify these, clarify these, give you one story, two separate lives, two separate stories, uh, repetition of X, future partner, whatever it be, okay? And then we're also going to look into what is the outcome going to be at the end of the week, what will the outcome look like for you guys, and then I'll tell you what to do, and more than likely what not to do, because it isn't going to make it any better or worse, okay? So whether you're stuck or not, <laughs> okay? So that's what you'll get on the full access bundle. Thank you so much, Pisces. Really appreciate it. All links are provided below, and I'll see you soon.